Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, I'm Lisa Marie. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Did you guys like this week's episode? Express your thoughts below. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in with y'all. I've been feeling better lately. I've been feeling more motivated. I hope everyone is staying inside and staying safe. Thank you to all the essential workers during this stressful time. We really appreciate all the work you're doing. I had planned to get my video out sooner this week, and I had all my sound clips done on Wednesday, and then I got sucked into miniature land. I've lost myself in the Barbie scale bathroom I'm creating from scratch. I've been trying to get my creative juices flowing again, so hopefully I'll have the next video out by Thursday the latest. Thank you for watching, and on with the video. Captain Glenn. I'm definitely seeing some friction in the deck department. So I want to hear from Padgett and Sierra. I feel like I'm a bit closer to them because we've lived together for so long now, and I trust their judgment. Something's brewing, and I need to get to the bottom of it and nip it in the bud. I really don't agree with Captain Glenn on this one. I think that Pageant and Sierra are fucking trash when it comes to leading anyone that asks questions. Like what? Their literal job is to teach. Chef Adam. At some point, I need to grow up. I need to take a chance on someone and give it a shot. How fucking old are you, dude? You just figuring that out? Aren't you almost like 50? I don't see Adam actually letting Jenna in at all. I see this all going terribly yet again. On the hottest day in Greece. Genius over here decides to make piping hot lentil soup. I just can't eat a hot soup on like a hot day. I know, I can't either. Maybe I better. Soup on a 90 degree day? Why didn't anyone else on the staff, <clears throat> Jenna, bring this to his attention? Wait, never mind. Why did Adam need anyone to bring this to his attention? Chief Engineer Byron. I've worked on a lot of boats and I know that chef and chief stew couples is not a good idea. I've seen it go wrong plenty of times. The worst part of it is the crew will be the ones that end up paying for it. I have to agree with Byron on this one. It's only going to get worse for the crew before it gets better. I don't care if at the end of the episode, Jenna and Adam are back together. I really don't see it lasting. In yachting, we anchor in a lot of beautiful locations. And today, the view is great. Ew, Byron. That's just gross. You have a wife and baby at home. Chief Stew, Jenna. I feel blindsided. Like, why doesn't he want to have sex with me? I feel like he's just continually building a wall. And it sucks if you're super close with somebody and having that affection, and then if that's not there anymore, it feels so f***ing cold. Because you went crazy on him, girl. That's why. Who would want to stick their dick in that situation? I don't blame Adam at all for telling her no. Jenna was acting like a little kid who didn't get what you wanted and then cried and pouted about it. These guests are all paying for this luxury vacation and then the beach setup looks like sh I'm pissed. I have to agree with Jenna here, but maybe if she wasn't so concerned with Adam and getting laid, she would have kept up communication with Madison Sierra. Just saying. Second stew, Madison. Jenna, do you really have to prevent me from having some hot tub time with my two best friends? This is all I have to live for right now. Can't you just, like, go suck dick on the bow? Madison is really getting to her breaking point. I feel bad for her. All she wanted to do was chill out with her friends. Is that too much to ask? I know I'm second stew, so I'm going to be spread thinly, and I know how to multitask like a mother -er. But it's like, if I'm doing a job, just let me complete my job. I feel Madison on that one. 
I hate not getting tasks completely finished before moving on to another. Third stew, Georgia. I'm so happy to be out of the laundry room and to get to do something service related. It's about f***ing time. I'm glad to see Georgia on service finally. She's been down in that laundry dungeon for like seven episodes now. My laundry sh I've got down to a T at this point, but I would love to do front end stuff like service. I'm gonna soak all these f***ers now. Yeah, maybe interacting with guests more, maybe see like sunlight or like a tree. You know, give me something. I can imagine that the boat could be much like our society's current situation. But at least they can get off the boat for a few hours without fear of contracting the, uh, you know what. First mate, Paget. My goal for this next charter is to keep my department drama free. If that's really your goal, Paget, then you should be the teacher you signed up to be. You shouldn't fluff responsibilities on Sierra. I think if anything, Glenn should have talked to the deck crew all together instead of one side against the other. Deckhand Sierra. I'm getting so sick of Parker. Bitch, I'm sick of you and your attitude. You are just as bad of a leader as Pageant is. How did you two get to this level in your careers? I'm so fucking confused. Fuck Sierra and Paget for ganging up on Parker like that. That's not professional at all. Deckhand Parker. Paget and Sierra don't believe in me because they just don't understand that I've got this on lock. Sweetheart, I really don't think the way you say things sometimes works in your favor. You do not have everything on lock, okay? I just don't think he's as bad as Sierra and Paget make him out to be. Land lover of the week. So Jenna wanting to distract herself by f***ing Adam is one thing. Jenna wanting to distract herself by fighting with Adam is another thing, and they're both bad. Our job is hard enough as it is, and it's going to be sh** now. Madison and Ciara, I understand y'all wanted a breather, but like that was taking advantage of the lack of supervision. And a responsible slacker would have set up completely and then chilled the fuck out. Sea Dog of the Week. I get a compliment from Jenna. <laughs> Finally. Georgia. She finally is in her stride, and even Jenna is taking notice of her improvements. Peak and pit of the week. I needed an apology from Adam, and I'm glad that he gave me one. And, you know, I'm scared too. But if we don't move forward, then we lose this, and that would be sh**. The peak of the episode for me was Adam actually growing a pair and apologizing to Jenna for being a dill hole. Madison's running around constantly. Like, she's the most stressed, hardest working person on the boat. I think she loves to portray that image. Like, look how hard I'm working. I've never stopped moving. But are you just sprinting from one room to the next and that's it? You're just sprinting. You're not actually doing something in the rooms that you're sprinting to. The pit of the episode for me was Jenna deciding that Madison is embellishing the amount of work she does? What a bitch. Do you agree? Sound off below. Scuttlebutt of the week. I'm trying to get them to learn that you gotta have some endurance. You gotta walk on some stones in life once in a while. Looks like things between the deck crew only get worse before they get better. Parker is the target of all of it, I'm very sure. Shipwreck of the week. It might have been nice if Parker had told us to bring our shoes. He's chosen the beach with the most rocks in like a 20 mile radius. My team today has been pretty much in disarray. The deck team in general. Paget is a terrible leader. Sierra isn't that much better. Parker's just trying to do what he's allowed to actually do. Let's rate this episode. Do you agree? Sound off below. 
I give this episode a six. It was all right. Nothing really special. Let's hope this gets better. Still to come. About Wolf halfway through the season, we're going to wrap this up real good and tight. Just breathtaking. Wow, it's windy. It is windy. We are on a, um, a yacht. Look at this view. Look at Baker. Amazing. Ah! Just playing cornhole with Breston plants. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's time to take it up a notch. Fucker, go back now. Just respect him. I might be getting into some trouble here. I honestly feel like I've been carrying you in Georgia and it f***ing sucks. I get it. You want to suck Adam's dick. But it's also like, be professional. Can you go a day without creating some kind of drama? I'm done with being on a boat where everyone's couple, couple, couple. I think I'm the green to a threesome. I'm very glad to have met you. You've meant a lot more to me than I think you realize. So we're definitely breaking up. It's over. I hop in my van and I drive away. I'm definitely naive. Whoa! Oh my god! We got 24 knots all of a sudden. Whoa! Okay, I got this. I got this. Woo! We're like almost tipping over. Is this normal? I would be very surprised if somebody flew to Corfu with cocaine. Is there anything you don't want me to find? What's in here? Might be a change of personnel. I'm so f***ing tired of this bullshit. I don't actually think I can do this. This is insane. We're all gonna die. The smile is the smile of panic. For more Below Deck Sailing Yacht, go to bravotv.com. As always, thank you for watching, and try not to screw the pooch this week, okay?